I believe this is the best division in the Army. I, that you are the best soldiers in the Army. And I believe that we're probably going to war sometime on our watch. Most of you have served several times before. The world is full of really bad people. There's still only one country on the superpower list. I checked it this morning, still us. So the world's full of people that hate us. They all live on the land. That's why we got an army. It's the best division in the army. So we're gonna have fun this week. A little bit of competition. But I want you to know that I'm honored to join your ranks. And this year I think it's extra special since uh, most of the division staff just returned. This is really a, a unique opportunity to highlight all the various things this division is doing across the globe all at once in one week and really build on that esprit de corps of the organization. So I'm looking forward to a lot of fun this week. different from a lot of the other sports that are included in Martin Week or, or any kind of competition. And that what we're really doing here is we're really building a better soldier. The willingness and ability to get out there and fight, the same attributes that it takes to be a great hand-to-hand -hand fighter are what it takes to win a war in combat. It's part of our warrior core task and drills. So we've got some techniques that are included here that every single soldier in the Army, doesn't matter if they are a brand new private or the most experienced sergeant major, they should know. And so this is an opportunity to really see what units are pushing that combative training, see what they're actually learning and doing, because you know, this is an opportunity to get that out there in front of your peers, out of, in front of your subordinates, in front of your command teams, get out there and compete and really show what that unit is pushing at the lowest level. Everything here is about team, so in the mantra of team here for the CrossFit competition, the event will be a team workout. Each team will consist of six athletes with at least one female. They will do a series of movements for a total team time. So those movements consist of pull-ups, deadlifts, leg raises, box jumps, and kettlebell swings. I've been doing CrossFit for eight years now, and the greatest part about it is the notion of virtuosity. That there is no upper limit to your fitness and your well-being, that you're always pursuing gains, you're always trying to better yourself as an individual, and as a soldier, that's something we always want to foster and, and strive for, so it really allows me and, and those I've, I've trained with to kind of pursue those ideals. It's been a lot of fun, actually. It's been a really cool experience getting to see the soldiers compete and seeing their level of athleticism and also getting to see friends come together because I think they're more than just soldiers, they're also friends as well. Lifelong friends, a lot of them, so it's kind of cool seeing how they interact in, a, in an atmosphere where they have to battle against other ones. gives you a different mentality. I mean, being able-bodied, you're used to using your feet and being able to move a little bit quicker, but it really gives you a better idea of what the guys that are unable to play and run around like everybody else. It gives you a really good idea of what they go through. The best thing about Martin Week to me is all these units, they're all across Fort Stewart. They never really get a chance to see each other and don't really know what each unit does. They never really get a chance to interact, but Martin Week bring all those different units together, gives them a chance to all compete. It's a lot more difficult to play in a wheelchair. Your legs are completely out of it, so you have to dribble with your hands and move the chair with your hands. So there's a lot of coordination involved, and it's it's very challenging, but it's definitely fun at the same time. I've learned a lot from it. Definitely some communication skills, because you can't run and move off the ball as fast. Really just how to work better as a team, especially with guys that you don't really know. 
So it, it really takes a lot of working together and playing together, often talking a lot. the commanding general and command sergeant major of the 3rd infantry division major general jim rainey and command sergeant major christopher gilpin welcome to fort stewart and this evening's performance of the twilight tattoo it's really important for us to have the twilight tattoo during marley Week because it gives us us soldiers a chance to you know have feel a sense of pride for our division uh, at, during Marn Week, you know, we have a bunch of sports that we do, but looking at it from a different perspective, having the band being able to actually play for us, letting uh, all the other soldiers on the installation see that we have an actual band that is able to perform, do concerts, you know, and they're all soldiers. It, it just sheds a different light on the military. We in the military, especially in the Army, we kind of pride ourselves on being quiet professionals. You know, not a lot of talk, not a lot of... Uh, run in our mouth, we kind of let our actions speak for our, ourselves and our soldiers and what we do. But it's important every now and then to take some time and reflect on our history and our legacy. And it's okay to be very, very proud of that. The Army put our country on its feet and has kept it there for the last 240 years and will do so as long as history remains. And we should be proud of that. We should be proud of being the third infantry division. Please pray for the men and women who remain in harm's way, wearing this patch, other patches, other services. They're out there tonight, so we can be here tonight with our families. Thank you, Rock of the Morning. I thought they were going to do pretty well. Quite honestly, we've been taking the last uh, month or so to get the teams together, understand what we're, need, what we're going to have to do when we came up here, and quite honestly, just take it to the rest of the division. And those 178 guys work throughout the week to participate in every sport. So the bottom line is it came down to they functioned together as a team, and they brought home a trophy. This was sort of a uh, send-off for the rest of the division, special delivery from Sledgehammer. Awesome. So they, they came in here with something to prove. And quite honestly, these guys brought it home and did a great job. 